what is going on people we are back with another video of like a dragon infinite wealth so like i told you before before we were going to come back to this we were going to level up a little so we did our little level up i got um, you need everyone directions? at 13 and now we're going to proceed with the story so we're going to make our way to this hotel here Someone fights. We don't really need to fight nobody. That's all we've been doing is fighting. So anything we can avoid, we'll avoid it. I'll be Hello. fine. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. You guys are like following along too. as a guide. Um, please do. Here we are. Jump up on those. Uh, really is a nice hotel you've got. They you know, people sleep here. Lots of good. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Jeez, careful, man. Got my wallet. What the hell? Hey, you can't just go around stealing shit. Ugh. Get your ass back here. <laughs> Kasuga, he probably knows the area better than us. Only way to do this is to split up and corner him. Little Japan's still under construction, so let's drive him south toward the beach. Okay, south toward the beach it is. Kiryu-san, Tomizawa, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. He didn't pocket anything, Kiryu san. Yeah, thanks. I don't recognize you. Did you come from the mainland, or? Yeah, not here. A guy like me won't die of exposure. Yeah, there's work here, too. At least that's what I heard. Kasuga, why don't you let him go? You sure? Last thing I want to do right now is drag him to the station. I'd rather just get to bed. <laughs> so the legend's as kind as he is strong. You hear that, buddy? Beat it. And don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> 
This happen a lot in Hawaii? <laughs> Just another day in paradise, right? A uh, fun fact, Hawaii's got the largest homeless population in America. Yet the cost of living here is absurd. You know, according to rumor, some states even send their homeless over here. Come start your miserable lives over beneath swaying palm trees, and sparkling waves in the background. And once they get here, it's too late. What the mainland's really doing is shunting all the problems they can't or won't solve on us. As a result, you get people like our friend just now. So your country treats this place like a dump? That's messed up. Let me put it another way. There are four major currents in the North Pacific Ocean. And Hawaii sits right in the middle. So when it's time to pump the trash out to sea, where do you think it ends up? Oh, you guessed it. The Aloha State again. <sighs> so yeah, pity him all you want. He's just gonna do it again. It's the only way he knows how to survive. <laughs> what? Akane-san's been missing for ten days? Then where the heck has she been? I don't know. I'm just telling you what the Daidoji told me. Well, that's not at all what Shitose said. That's the mate who set you up, right? Yeah. And based on what she told me, Akane-san was only gone for that day. Not sure why you believe a word she said. A and was she even Akane-san's maid? Uh, like, you would have to be the dumbest chick in the world to rob your employer's own son. But then, why was she even there? <laughs> well, if I know, man. Then we need to ask Chitose herself. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. And get back your passport while we're at it. Right. Tomizawa, how would you turn a stolen passport into money? Well, we do have a black market for that sort of thing. Oh, yeah? Sure. I mean, people buy up stolen goods all the time. And if it's passports, I know just the guy. Who? His name's Jeff. He runs a taco truck over on Waikiki Street. His tacos? Yeah. Tastes like ass, but that's beside the point. His real customers are pickpockets and homeless. So he buys up stolen passports, <laughs> and then what? No, no, he must be reselling them somewhere. Mm, then Chitose might have sold his passport to Jeff. He does see a lot of Japanese people. It's how he got to be so fluent in the language. How soon can you take us to meet him? What, you thinking like right now? Yeah, we should act before the trail goes cold. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. It's 10 on a Monday night. I wouldn't want to you know, get caught out there right now. Caught? By who? We take a good look and you'll see. Are they? A local mafia. They call themselves the Barracudas. As you can see, they got the run of the place. In terms of manpower, Yamai and his goons are just small fry. And what's interesting about them is they don't discriminate when recruiting. Yeah, since mafias tend to stick to one language or ethnicity. Then what brought these guys together in the first place? Well, once upon a time, they were all homeless, or at least most were. All those years of getting kicked around, ignored, and spat on by society must have triggered something in them. And at some point, they decided to band together. I guess anger runs thicker than blood. Every Monday night is like this. They come out of the woodwork and strut around till dawn. It's like their way of saying, we own this place. And it works. Unless you want them turning you into poke, don't mess with them. Huh? They'll do what? Is there no way around? Can we just steer clear and make for Jeff's? No. 
Not unless you want to risk your life. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Oh, no, dude! Don't do it! Oh, not to them! Yes, I'll take care of it. Hey! Excuse me. Not so fast, asshole! Uh, beg your pardon. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? What's in your hand? My wallet, right? Take him around with that. See what's up, Andrew. See what's up, Andrew. See what's up, Andrew. Hey, hey! Are you nuts? Shit! I should've just said nothing! don't want to see this. Trust me. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. Is he okay or not? Hey! <sighs> Insane. They just cut him wide open. The last thing we want is to join him. We need to move fast. Hurry! Get up, man. We gotta go. Yeah. Wow. You saw it. That was how the Barracuda sent a message. Before, I'd only heard stories. Never thought I'd have to see the real thing. You all right there, man? Hell no, I'm not. We could have gotten killed just now. And no one would even miss us. The cops would just walk away, leave the case unsolved. You saying they let a pack of killers roam free? As they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Same as the Yakuza in Japan, right? Take it from a local. We really need to call it a night. Tough as you two are, even you guys can't take on a whole army. Yeah, all right.
Let's get serious. Oh, okay. So I, I like when we do those. These are dope. They always have like a story behind them. What's up? You sleep deprived or something? Yeah, couldn't sleep a wink. Just tossing and turning all night. Hey now, sleep is life. You gotta take care of yourself. I'll let you borrow this, so try it out tonight. What? Don't tell me it's sleeping pills. I don't. Special theory of relativity through quantum mechanics. But holy shit, it's huge! You actually carry this fucker around? Yeah, you read a few pages and you're in snooze land before you know it. Yeah, but what do I do with the other 944 pages? All right. Looks 
Yo, what was that dance he was doing? I Exactly what you mean. Same deal with popcorn. Location really makes the meal. Yeah, eating inside the theater totally sets me. I go out and watch movies just so I can get my hands on that hot dog. I'm not sure what to say about the order of your priorities. We're really opening up. Oh wow, their bond is actually growing just for now. That's dope. Yeah, 
Aloha. Aloha. What you got? Oh, we'll take another hot dog. Get two hot dogs. And can I get some deluxe iced coffee, please? Two. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. Ugh. Ball time. Nah, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, come on! This is a genuine driver's license. It's got to be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks, take it or leave it, yeah? I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Oh, fine, tight ass. Chef, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa, you hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh. Who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? Ah, <sighs> gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on us? Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. Ah, oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business, huh? Well, you heard the bastard. We're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. Might be able to haggle it down, though. Ugh, still pretty steep. Guess I'll need to come up with some cash. Well, whatever. If that's what it takes to find Chitose, I'll do it. Hmm. Chitose? Hey, you two. Over here. Huh? I happen to over here. You looking for a woman named Chitose? Uh, yeah. You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... more sex work? Like an escort service? Well, can't say you're asking the right guy, but my guess is... it's for scoring some intimate time, if you catch my drift. See, the other day, while I was dozing off around here, Guy dialed up the number on that flyer. And then, that Chitose girl showed up. Oh man, she was unforgettable. I just couldn't take my eyes off her. From what I heard, she's that company's top talent. Hmm. Sounds like we have us a lead. Let's give him a ring. And, and hey, good looking out. But I gotta ask, why bother helping a couple of strangers? <laughs> Always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. Makes me sick to watch him profit off of what he does. Well, guess what? You're a lifesaver, man. Thanks. Nah, don't mention it. If you do find her, just buy me a drink next time you pass by. Got it. Heck, I'll even take you bar hopping. Okay, you ready? Do it. <laughs> Yes, hello. You've reached Gary's Love Camp. Hi, uh, hello. I, I saw your flyer and decided to call. And I'm, 
I'd like to invite a, a woman over. Huh? Congratulations! You're our hundredth customer. To celebrate, your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks! Now then, could you please provide your name and current location? The name's Kasuga. I'm, uh, next to Chef's Taco Truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Uh, I, no, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. Okay, well in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. Still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, I was wondering if I could request Chitose, if possible. You want to request Chitose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, Chitosi's usually all booked up, but she does have an opening right now. Oh, what a relief. If you could, please send her on over. Of course. She'll be there lickety-split. Thank you for your business. Did it work? Yep, Chitose's on her way. She'll be here lickety-split, you guys say. Good. Strange, though. I thought these businesses only sent someone to your hotel. Not that I'd know. Come to think of it, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. <laughs> you sure know your stuff. You, uh, do this pretty often? Oh, not at all. It, it's just, I was raised in a soap land, so uh, this kind of deal's second nature to me. No kidding. You learn something new every day. It's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting! Oh, looks like she's here. Huh? Where? Hey! Over here! What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, who are you? Oh, um, are you Mr. Kasuga? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Chitose. <laughs> Can't believe we found you so quickly. What a flawless plan. Nice going, Kasuga. What? what? Mm hmm? Got the wrong one? Yeah, this chick's completely different. What the hell, old man? Huh? Don't blame me. Isn't this what you're looking for? My name's Kitose. It's similar too. I mean, yeah, the hair is the same, and, and that name sure is a coincidence. But uh, our Chitose isn't so uh, chiseled. What? Am I not good enough for you? Talk about rude. No, look, it, it's not like that. You're plenty good. <laughs> Tose san? Hey, you shitheads making a racket. That's it. Time to shut you people up. We can figure this out later, Kasuga. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, right. Hey, Chitose san. Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. Why? I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides, isn't this what you called me over for? Huh? I I'm not sure I understand. You requested me to tow save Buster Holmes from Poundmates? Poundmates is a unique service that deploys fabulous fighters to help combat your pugilistic problems. Sorry, what? Hey, <laughs> nobody fucking annoys me and lets to speak about it. You bitches are dead! Let's do this, Kasuga. Hell yeah! Really pissing me off. Let's do it! Now we got pile mates. Oh, that's easy. What's the hold up? Let's see you try. This is gonna hurt. Let's see you try. Let's do a little bit of it since it's free. Something wrong? Don't look 
Oh, it's not even unlocked. Oh, wow. Here's the one. Uh, hey, you freak found me. Oh, oh yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery. Special delivery. Down on ya. What's the whole huh? uh. Here we go. Ow. Oh, come on. That's picking time. Bro, who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. So, gonna run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's it gonna be? Ah! Oh, please, please don't hurt me. And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Uh, sure. Alrighty, toodles! What was that all about? Well, that was pound mates. Whenever you're in a pinch, press pound to order some backup. You really do know your stuff. You do this often, too? I may have gone through a phase. <laughs> Good old pound mates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way into Hawaii. Talked about going global. Now, she wasn't the Chitose I expected, but she was a damn cool Chitose in the end. I hope that's his daughter. You know, I hope they just didn't turn him into a woman. You know? Time. Yes. Why, dude? We got the money. <laughs> Make some cash. Oh, a lot of pigeons in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but 
There feels like more here. Chickens too. And the birds' behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long they'll start closing in on you. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones. But I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. Even pigeons respect Kiryu's glare. Around here, you said? This place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. Hang out for a while. They'll show up. I, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal-pushing bike boy. Take it sleazy. For a job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. Wild fro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. Crazy, I dig it. You got a problem? Who the hell are you anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast, you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. You're from... Seriously? Um, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. Nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichibro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, we've got the goods. More importantly, we're short staff. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Yep, now, enough chit chat. Let's get you rolling. Uh, sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. 
Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> That's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jumping, spinning around, screaming. It's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside-of-the-box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are. People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contracted deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy bitch. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look out for yourself. Anyway. Sound good to you? You in? Sure, I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now?
good delivery. Pause oh, again. Time. This is crazy. Oh. Oh. Let's fly. Yeah. Let catch some air. Amazing. the last of it. Excellente! Ichibro, that was sick! You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man, crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of failing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. You can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. Adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich. Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we've ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. 30 bucks, that's what we needed. Thanks. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. Oh, he's part of Pound Me. Oh. Totally.
allow me.